Today we're going to do some drawing based on The Winter's Child. I've been looking at this book and trying to think what can we do that would really help us with our drawing skills. And then actually I was thinking about The Winter's Child himself. So we have an absolutely beautiful picture here of The Winter's Child. And his face is just so brilliant. It's described brilliantly in the book. And I'm going to just show you a picture here. I've, I found a photograph of it. I've taken it from the book. I will just read you the bit in the book that describes his face. Out of the snow stepped a pale boy with ice blue eyes. And actually you can see there, can't you? You can see the ice in the boy's eyes just there. The glitt glistening ice in his eyes. I love that idea and I think we can try and draw him. So you will need a piece of paper, an HB pencil, that's a normal pencil really that we write with. Um, I tend to use an HB pencil, it's halfway between hard and soft and it's what we use at school to write with. If you want to, you can use a 2B pencil if you've got one of those, they're quite good for sketching. We have lots of these at school, you can tell the difference between them because look, One's got red and one's got an orange bottom on it. And a rubber, have a rubber. Hopefully we won't be using that too much, but it's good to have it anyway. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start by drawing the boy's face. Now, normally our faces are all different shapes, but they're not perfectly round. Nor, if you have a look in the mirror now and have a look at your face, you'll see that your face might be longer or thinner. Your jaw might be a little bit squarer than other people's. But we don't tend to have a perfectly round head like a ball. The Winter's Child does. If you look at that, it is quite a round face. It's a little bit different to the faces that we normally draw. And I think that's because they've done it like a cartoon. They've stylized it a little bit. First thing you're going to need to do is to create a big round circle. And I know that this is something that um, we can often struggle with. And we want it nice and big. So we're going to create it by just using. And can you see how I'm just using little strokes all the time? You might not even be able to see that very clearly but you can hear it, can't you? Little strokes all the time to create my circle. And it doesn't matter if I make a mistake. So if I make a mistake, I'm going to change the circle and change the way it looks with my lines until I'm happy with my circle, okay? If you really struggle with it, what you could do is you could do a little dot at the top, a little dot at the bottom, and a dot either side, and then you could try and, you could try and join these up. Okay, if that's something that you're struggling with, you might want to get a grown-up to help you with your circle, but I think all of you can give it a good go. It doesn't have to be perfect. So have a go at making a circle. Once you've got your circle, try and make it so it fills the paper as much as possible. So that's the basic head of our Winter's Child. It's the basic shape of our head. We can, we're gonna change the shape of the jawline in a little bit, a little bit. But start off with, we're going to do the basic head shape. Now, when you are drawing faces, it's quite amazing because normally when you draw a face, you might want to draw the eyes and very often you'll put them up here in the top. Okay, and I know lots of people who like to draw their faces, draw their eyes, they draw their nose in the middle. Everyone touch your nose like this. Okay, it's not in the middle of your face. Shall I tell you what's right in the middle of your face? Your eyes, can you all touch your eyes? Yeah, they're in the middle of your head. Okay, so we're gonna, and that sounds a bit stupid, it's because our hair takes up so much of our head. So you'll find it out later. So what we're gonna do is we're going to draw a line, really light line, this line, because we're going to be able to rub it out later. We're gonna draw a line all the way down the middle, and we're going to draw a line all the way down the middle that way. So we've kind of created, if you're very good at fractions, what have we divided it into? We've divided our circle. Oh, I'm going to pick it up here. We've divided our circle into four, about. Okay, if your line's not exactly down the middle, that's okay. Just okay. Just change it so it's down the middle. So we've divided into four. And this shows that we've got our middle here where our eyes are going to be. Now, as well as dividing that, we need to know where the bottom of our nose goes in our faces. And this is the bottom of my nose. Everyone touch the bottom of your nose, where your, where your nostrils are. Can you touch the bottom of your nose? That is halfway 
between our eyes and our chin. So it's halfway between our eyes and our chin. So I'm going to draw another light line there. I'm going to rub it out, so don't worry. That's the bottom of my nose. And then my lips are halfway. Everyone, everyone put their fingers on the lips. Our lips are halfway between our nose and our chin. Okay, so I'm going to draw another line here to show you where my lips go. Okay, it doesn't have to be exact. So I have got a line down the middle, a very thin line there, and a line there and there. So once you've drawn your three, your lines, one, two, three, four lines, you're ready to draw your person. If you haven't quite done that, pause the video so you can get your lines drawn. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on the eyes because they are in the middle and they're on this top line, okay? And really, you should be able to fit an eye here, an eye here, an eye here, an eye here, an eye here. We don't have five eyes, but it shows you that there needs to be quite a bit of space between here, because that's where your nose goes. All right, so we're gonna leave a bit of space there, and I'm gonna do a little dot to show that I'm leaving a, a, a sort of an equal space there. And then I'm gonna do a dot here to show that that's where my eyes are going to be, roughly. So I need to kind of do that. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this circle up here, these two circles, these circles in my eyes. So I'm going to draw this. OK, so gonna, and again, just have a go. They're quite big on this, much bigger than they would be. And they're about the same. They're about now. I've actually drawn that a little bit too far away, too, far, far, far. So I'm going to actually change that and draw that in the middle because I wasn't really concentrating there. If you do make a mistake, you can just draw over it or you can rub it out, it's up to you. But I would just draw those two first of all. And they're kind of sitting on that line there, really. They're sitting on the line, those two centers of your eyes. And then once you've done that, we've got this, and this touches the top of this, this eye, we've got the upper eyelid. And we're gonna draw it from here to here. We're gonna draw this upper eyelid. And can you see how it touches the top of that eye and we're going to draw this one as well and it touches the top of the eye it doesn't have to be exact yet but it just shows that you get that shape of your eyes okay now here we've got this tiny little bit that goes in in the middle that's those bits of our eyes so we're going to draw that little bit there and a the little bit there it's like two little semicircles and then we're going to go under and this time we're not going to we're not going to touch it's a little bit more of a straighter line, this one, but it's still curved. And we're not going to touch the irises there. We're going to leave those. And they should look about the same shape. They should look about the same. So we, and we can add to those in a bit. We can improve those later. So once you've got your eyes drawn, that's brilliant. We're going to draw the bottom of the nose because that's the next bit. And we said, do you remember that the bottom of the nose, actually, it goes here. And if you look, the eyes and the bottom of the nose that come in slightly to the bottom of the nose. So I'm going to draw a little dot there, a little dot there to show where the bottom of my nose goes. Now, the bottom of my nose, it's the nostrils that are the main thing you see in these drawings. So I'm going to draw the nostrils. Before I draw the nostrils, I'm going to do a curve in the middle. Can you see that? Very little curve in the middle. And then from that curve, I'm going to go over and I'm going to go over. And that's kind of the bottom of my nose. And from that, he's got very special ones that look like little tadpoles. So I'm going to draw those in. He's got little tadpole nostrils, hasn't he? They look like little tadpoles. And I'm going to just curve that round and draw that in. Don't press hard when you're sketching. Lots of little lines are much better. OK. And then once you've drawn your little tadpole nostrils, this part of the nose starts up here and it doesn't actually touch those tadpole nostrils. It goes all the way round. OK. See if you can have a go at doing those two little semicircles. It's it kind of bit, a bit like a curly cur. And then that one's a backwards curly cur. So you can kind of see that. And that is his nose. So we've got two eyes and we have got a nose. Right, if you need to pause it, pause the video just to catch up. At any time you want to pause it, you can do that. Okay, now 
you can see here that we've got a bit of shadow here, but I'm gonna just draw a very faint line up here, just a really little line to show that we're going up here. And then we have got his eyebrows, and his eyebrows aren't, aren't like my eyebrows. They start up there, and they start up there, and they are perfect curves, perfect curves. Remind me a little bit of two little snowflakes that have maybe swirled around and little snow mountains on his eyes. So um, do two perfect little curves there and they go down there. So you've got your eyes, you've got your two eyebrows and your nose. So again, it doesn't have to be perfect, so don't worry. It's just trying to get the proportions in the right place. Once we've done that, we are going to add the mouth here. Now the mouth, I've learned a new way of drawing mouths and I'm going to try and try and show it to you. First of all, you get a little bit of shadow there, which we're going to do a little bit later, just to, to introduce you to the idea of shadows. But with the mouth, I want you to think about how far along the mouth goes. And the mouth goes a little bit wider than the nose. Can you see that? It's a little bit wider than the nose. So I'm kind of going to do my two little dots a little bit wider than my nose, one there, one there. And he's kind of got this little crooked smile going on. So it kind of goes down in the corners and it kind of goes, kind of curves down in a very kind of strange little smile. It's a little bit like the man on the moon at the moment, doesn't he? He curves down, there's like a little strange smile. And there's a little, little, little strange hooky bit on his mouth as he has a strange smile that he, um, that he smiles in this book, doesn't he? Twink his eyes twinkle and he's a very fun little boy and he wants to play. Now the thing that we're going to do after this, we're going to add the bottom lip. But when you add the bottom lip, we're not going to draw it like a complete mouth. We're just going to add the little bottom curve like that. So that is the bottom lip. And we can just see that bit of the bottom lip. We're not going to draw it so it's completely finished. Okay, it's going to get a little bit thinner there. But that's all we're going to kind of draw of the bottom lip. So we've got the eyes. We've got the nose. Oh, we've got the eyebrows as well, haven't we? We've got the eyebrows, we've got the eyes, we've got the nose, and we have got the mouth. What are we missing? What haven't we drawn yet? There are two main things we haven't drawn yet. We haven't drawn the ears, and we haven't drawn the hair. So with the ears, very often people put ears high up here. But, but the ears, everyone touch, touch the corners of your eyes, if you bring your hands along, oh, you touch your ears, and that's your top of your ears. The corner of the eyes touch the top of your ears. And if you put your um, fingers on the bottom of your nose and bring your fingers along, that's the bottom of your ears. So your ears go from your eye line here to your nose line here. So we can do those two little lines out there. And his ears, they look a little bit, there's a bit curved there and a curve there they go in looks a little bit, so I can do it this way, because this way looks a bit, little bit how I draw my E's, where you go up, in, and then out again. I'm going to do the same that way, in and out again, because you've got the ear lobes. That one's a bit fat, actually, so I'm going to change that one. I do it in and then out again, and that's where my ears are going. See if you can draw your ears on either side of your head. So remember, in and then out again, in and then out. And just worry about those two lines. That's kind of where they should be. Okay, now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get uh, the, we're gonna change the jawline. And just make sure that jawline's a little bit more like the Winter's Child, because his jawline's a little bit more pointy. So I'm going to, underneath that, I'm going to do my curve and then I'm going to do my line going up more in, more as a sort of slant. So I'm going to, it doesn't matter that you've got your curve there because we're going to rub it out in a minute. And then when you've gone to that line where your lip is, you can change the direction a little bit to join your ears. And so that shows he's got a little bit more of a frosty jawline. And then this is where you can do a bit of rubbing out. So get your rubber and try not to rub out too much of what you've done. 
<laughs> which is very tricky to do sometimes. You might want a grown up to help you with this rubber bit. And you're going to try and rub out where all these lines are, including that one down the middle. You can blow or you can rub it off. You might want to just rub out a little bit inside the eyes as well. If you rub out any of your drawings my, by mistake, that's fine because you can redo them. Okay, I'm going to rub out a little bit around the edge as well so I can see that jawline. Now we're going to finish with the hair and I'm going to add a few more details at the end. So his hair, can you see how my hair's got a centre parting so it's right in the middle of my head and I'm sure lots of you have the same but his hair doesn't have that. His hair starts at the corner here so I'm going to, it's kind of above this eye isn't it? So I'm going to go above this eye and do a dot in that corner. You all might want to do that dot in the corner as well that will help you. And then from that I'm going to do and, and his hair sweeps forward. Can you see that? It sweeps forward. So I'm going to do a sweeping forward, sweep forward, sweep forward. And actually, it goes all the way to the end of his head. Sweep forward. Doesn't matter if you go over the hair headline, that's fine. Sweep forward. And then they start going in the other direction. So I'm going to sweep that way. And his hair kind of goes that way as well. So we'll add, there you go, and you can do some that way. And then like this, you can go a little bit bigger than his head was as well to start off with. There we go, have a few dangling there, which looks quite good if you have a few dangling there. And a few dangling the other side of his ear looks nice as well. Okay, then this little bit as well. So this bit sweeps over here. And then this bit goes up a bit, so it kind of looks like a little bit like a bow here, doesn't it? Sweeps down, it flicks over his ear a little bit, doesn't it, as well? So sweeps over and sweeps down. Okay, so there we go, there we've got his hair. And you have a play with that hair. Doesn't have to be exact, it's, hair's quite nice. And hair, it's what hair adds to the face straight away, it makes it more of a face when you add the hair. Now, once you've done that, I'm just going to add a few extra bits to the face. First of all, I'm going to add another line above his eyelid. So you're going to see that over there. I'm going to add another line above his eyelid all the way down. And I'm going to do the same here. All the way down, a nice double line. Okay, make sure that bit still looks like it's poking out there. And um, I'm going to add a little bit there as well, a little bit of a line there and a little bit of a line there. Just kind of adds a little bit more shadow. Then, if you look here, you've got your black pupil in the middle of your eye. And his black pupils are huge. They are really big. So I'm going to draw that. And I'm going to draw a black pupil there. You can't actually see a lot of his blue eye. And then I'm going to make sure I'm going to draw a little star in each eye. Because he's got those little white star in his eye. We're going to we're going to make sure those pupils um, are lovely and black in a minute, and then I'm going to go back to so have a go with his eyes. Um, and actually, on this at the moment, I can't really see any eyelashes, so I'm not going to add any eyelashes for this one. But if it, if you're drawing a different person, you might want to add some eyelashes because everybody has eyelashes. And actually, the men in my family, the boys, have much longer eyelashes than I have. I'm very jealous. Um, okay, and then we're going to add some of this in the ear. So the ear normally has a double line that just runs all the way round. So it kind of looks like a double line there. It runs all the way down, just down to the bottom. And then inside the ear, you have this little kind of, you have this bit of skin here, which joins the head. So that skin there. And then we have sort of a dark shadow inside, which will which we can add and draw in a minute. So, then you have that dark shadow inside. So, we've got something else that's missing. We haven't drawn a neck. So we're gonna add the neck. Now the neck, if you look, comes about the same place as where the lips are. So if you have a look at where your lips are, it's got a little bit of a neck, not a lot of neck, but the neck is very important. A lot of people like to draw body straight onto heads, but you need to have a neck. Everyone's got a neck that holds their head up. And then from that, we're going to draw the body just coming out there and coming out there. And that should go to the bottom of your page. 
and he's got quite a fancy top on so actually I'm going to draw his very fancy top and that's a double line there you might want to draw that as well well you might want to make up your own bit on this top it looks like he's got some frosty pearls on his top as well so that looks really lovely and just like him now I'm not going to do a lot of shading because that's something you would normally learn a little bit later but I will just add a little bit just to make some of the features pop out not a lot if you've got a 2b pencil you can change it if not you can use an hb it really doesn't matter so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to very carefully shade in those nostrils because those nostrils need to be nice and dark so see if you can make your nostrils a little bit darker because that will make a big difference for your face. The other thing that will make quite a big difference is the line under your eye. See if you can make that a little bit darker as well. Okay, just that under there and that line here. It doesn't have to go all the way across. Okay, and then the line above your eye can be a bit darker as well because the eyes do need to pop out a little bit. Okay, and it can be a little bit darker either side. And then I'm going to make that line around the fur circle a little bit darker. And then I'm going to very carefully, not colouring in that very special star that I drew, I am going to just make sure those pupils are nice and dark because that's what... There we go. Now you can see he's looking at us, isn't he? The way he's doing that. Um, you can make his eyebrows a little bit darker. He does have quite pale grey eyebrows, so don't need to make them too dark. And he also has, and this is where I'm going to teach you a little bit of shading in a minute, but first of all, his upper lip is, uh, you can make that just a little bit wider. So I'm just, just in the centre, not in the, not on the edges. I'm just making that that line a little bit wider in the centre. It's still nice and thin either side, okay? It kind of shows that his mouth's a little bit open. Um, and the ears, so we can actually do some shading around the ears. So the, mi the middle line there is quite dark and I'm going to do that line there, quite dark. And then we just have maybe a little bit of black there, little bit of shading there and a little bit around that first bit so you can kind of see that there's a little bit of depth inside his ears and then if you want to add a few darker strands you don't have to do many but if you want to add a few darker strands to the hair just to show still nice to have some lighter ones because he has got quite light hair hasn't he? he's quite fair fair hair um now you can leave it like that or you might want to add just a little bit of shading here. So I'm going to just show you, this is actually called hatching. And this is something you'll, you, you'll learn when you're a little bit, oh, I've just done little lines, hatching is little lines like this, and you're just doing them very close together. I've only done a few, I'm gonna get my finger and I'm gonna smudge them, okay? See, if, see what that looks like. See if you like um, having that hatching on your, on your paper. The other, shading that's quite nice to do is underneath the lips i'm going to just do a tiny bit there okay and shading underneath the chin because he turns he's not a beard just a little bit of shading under the chin okay we could add some more shading if we want to and if you want to play with shading you could add a little bit and smudge it you get quite mucky fingers but that's okay but at the moment i'm going to just leave it like that that is our first lesson on how to draw a face and I would like to see if you can have a go at drawing your own winter's child face. Hopefully you've been following along and you can have a go at drawing your winter's child face and maybe showing us. Yours might look very different to mine, that's okay. I'm sure there are lots of different types of winter's children who would come and play with us in the snow. So I really can't wait to see yours. See you soon. Bye bye.